Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Adolescence. Welcome back to another video. And in today's Seth Le bon contributor video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at another fragrance by the brand Le Jardin Retrouvé. This one is called Bois Tabac Virginia. I'm also gonna be letting you know about a special giveaway attached to this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's video and I tell you all about this fragrance by Le Jardin Retrouvé, it's called the Bois Tabac Virginia. If you're a fan of cedarwood, sandalwood, tobacco, lavender, vetiver, ambergris, a lot of great ingredients in here. I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode. Now, if you would like to participate for your chance to win a bottle, all you have to do is go on over to cephlebon.com. It's going to be the first link down below in the description. Read through the article and after you've become a registered reader, just leave a comment on the article and that's it. That's all you have to do. Best of luck to everybody who is participating in the draw. And once again, this is a woodsy and tobacco based fragrance that in my opinion does well all year round. The tobacco is not ultra heavy and the woods aren't super dense. There is geranium. There are some lighter ingredients in here that give it such a nice and warm personality, but still allow it to be worn all year round without carrying that density that is often associated with a lot of fall and winter time fragrances. In any case, I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell. Let's start things off with the presentation. Now, of course, as the name of this fragrance implies, Bois Tabac Virginia, you are going to get the woods and you're going to get the tobacco. Now, the tobacco has a kind of like a leafy aromatic touch to it. It's not like a cherry flavored pipe tobacco or anything like that. It's actually on the lighter, more herbal side of things. And that characteristic of the tobacco in this fragrance surprisingly works very well with the woods that are in here. There's some resins in the base as well, but they don't have as much of an influence in the composition as do the sandalwood and the cedarwood. And there's also a little bit of the ambergris as well, which kind of keeps the freshness alive. So like I said before, there's a lot of ingredients in here that make this a very easy to wear fragrance all year round. Now, in terms of that duality between the cedarwood and the sandalwood, as you smell it, it does have a bit more of like a woodsy peppery influence. So I'm more inclined to say that the cedarwood is probably a little bit stronger than the sandalwood. However, there is still this clean, aromatic, earthy, herbal touch in the base. And that's when you come to realize that there's also a nice bit of vetiver in here. Now the vetiver contributes to that earthy sense or sensation, if you will, that you're going to get from this fragrance. So it's not just about the woods and the tobacco. There's a lot more happening in here and a lot of classy ingredients as well. Whenever you think about ingredients that convey class, refinement, sophistication, you do often oftentimes think about vetiver that's in here. I know I personally think about lavender that's in here as well. Geranium is used in a lot of traditional fougere fragrances. Well, there's geranium in here as well. A touch of uh, citrus in the opening, nothing too strong, but you do have this volatile freshness when you first apply it. So ultimately, if you are a fan of the note of tobacco, you don't want something very dense and sweet like a tobacco vanille by Tom Ford, but you don't want something as herbal and wispy as like a Tabarone by Creed. This establishes a nice middle ground. And this is the type of tobacco that I can wear without feeling like I'm smelling like cigarettes or anything like that. It certainly doesn't have that influence. Very versatile. I do appreciate the versatility in this one. And I hope that you enjoy this one too. And if you're participating in the draw, hopefully you're going to be the lucky winner and you'll have the opportunity to try this one for yourself as well. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I've smelled a lot of other tobacco based fragrances. And I must say that the tobacco in here with the woods and the ambergris and all these other ingredients, is done in such a different way. And truly, I am impressed. I do like the uniqueness and the versatility of this one. Longevity was about seven hours on my skin. The projection was great for the first 
45 minutes to an hour of application, it did radiate at an arm's length. It didn't start to sit at about an elbow's length until hour three, three and a half. And right at that seven hour mark, it kind of became a skin scent. But if you do apply it on clothing, it's gonna last a lot longer than that. In terms of the versatility, very versatile, perfectly unisex. Although some people would argue that because of the woods and the tobacco, it leans a little bit traditionally masculine, but I do personally find it to be unisex. This one can be worn all year round. It's not the most expensive fragrance out there, so you can wear it casually, and that's a great thing. You can wear this one formally as well. It does have a refined quality, like I said, with the vetiver and the lavender, and I think this one will appeal to somebody who's a little bit older, a little bit more sophisticated. I know a lot of the younger crowd is into the tonka beans and the aquatic fragrances, and this isn't it. In terms of the presentation, I do enjoy the presentation. The green kind of aligns with the Jardin concept of the brand. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you're a fan of tobacco, but you want a middle ground tobacco, not too herbal, but also not too dense and sticky and sweet. This is great with added notes of woods and vetiver and lavender and a lot of other classy ingredients. And ultimately the versatility is very good. I hope you have the chance to try this out. I believe Perfumology carries it. So I'm gonna leave all of the appropriate links down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you watching my channel and hopefully you took something of value from this video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload these daily videos to YouTube. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Love you all and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.